We've spent a great deal of time over the last few weeks discussing situational awareness. Now we'd like to shift gears and talk about what to do if we lose situational awareness. It's important that we recognize loss of situational awareness and enhance our psychological skills so that we can regain situational awareness. Losing situational awareness is a phenomenon that's not limited to a crisis. It can happen in our daily lives. We just need to recognize it. Pause for a moment and ask yourself if you've ever had any of the following experiences. Have you ever felt like there wasn't enough time in the day to complete your daily tasks? Have you ever felt run down? Have you ever felt that you continued to work crossing things off your to-do list, and you just weren't getting ahead? Each of these experiences may lead to a loss of situational awareness. Remember, in Section 3, when we discussed balancing attention and fixation errors, we used the example of a junior resident who focuses on the placement of a saturation probe during a hypoxemic event rather than accepting the reality of the situation. In that scenario, the resident was losing situational awareness. Losing situational awareness can happen for a variety of reasons, some of which we've already discussed. If we're hungry, angry, late, tired, or stressed, our vigilance and job performance will be affected. If we can't balance attention, we may get distracted and experience either a fixation error or cognitive overload. If we have cognitive biases that have formed from previous experiences, we may filter out new information. In addition to halts, unbalanced attention, and cognitive biases, complacency, where we assume everything is under control, can affect vigilance, and excessive motivation can lead to imposed expectations and filters. In a crisis situation, we may be unaware that we've lost situational awareness. Clues to this loss include confusion, uncertainty, tunnel vision, departure from the plan, and failures to observe hazards. The inverted U hypothesis proposes that increases in stress typically are accompanied by increases in quality of performance, but only to a certain point. After you reach a certain threshold, you experience diminishing returns, where rising stress actually results in deteriorating performance quality in certain tasks. Several performance-enhancing psychological skills can be implemented as we adapt to environments that make us uncomfortable. Breathing, talking, seeing, and focusing, embodied by the mnemonic, beat the stress fool, are evidence-based techniques to improve performance. In the heat of the moment, take a deep breath. Talk to yourself with a pep talk. Visualize next steps as part of a mental rehearsal and focus with the trigger word to balance your attention. My trigger word is focus. During combat operations, Navy SEALs are taught to use box breathing to relax, improve focus, and clear the mind. Here's how you do it. Breathe in through your nose, filling up your belly for five seconds. Hold for five seconds. Exhale through your mouth for five seconds. Hold for five seconds and repeat. Use these and other mental aids that we've outlined throughout this course to beat the stress full and avoid errors by regaining situational awareness.